Hey everybody, it's me, Vic. So I wanted to talk to you about the Vertical Plugin by Atom TV. I reached out on Twitter and they showed me a really cool little uh, life hack that I think is uh, beneficial for those who are streaming, whether it be uh, in vertical or horizontal format. Um, I want to say that this plugin is a really nice, amazing tool for OBS users. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the link. You can download it. It's free. Um, you don't have to pay to use it, but if you want to use anything that's Stream Deck to make things easier, you can either do customization or you can actually pay for a service and they do so much more. Um, I This is not sponsored in any ways. I'm just a very big user of the plugin because I do put content on TikTok. I do put content on um, YouTube Shorts as well as Instagram. I had to think about that for a second. Anyways, let's get started here. So as you can see, there's my stream deck. I actually changed my whole layout here. So like I have the phone like literally right in front of me and there's my camera too. I don't have the prompter yet, but I'm excited. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started here. And the package I'm using is Cascade. Um, it's on the Elgato Marketplace. It was by Visual by Impulse, but now they are Elgato Marketplace as of December 22nd. Um, anyway. I can post a link for that too as well. I'll be posting all of the links here in the video very shortly. But we're going to get started here. So I took the time to create a starting, a live, a be right back, and an ending screen for my verticals um, just in case, you know, I decided to go live and I wanted to test out TikTok live. I haven't unlocked the threshold that's needed, but I did apply for the live studio and that's a whole nother can of worms and another story altogether. So that might be another video in the future. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started here because I was showing off like the, the plugins and everything and I was showing like the package off on the uh, Twitter and uh, this is how I did it. So one thing about this plugin, which I think is really amazing, and in case anybody's wondering how do you know what the resolution is, it's always going to be 1080 by 1920 unless you drop it down to 720p, and that is going to be 1280 by 720. Um, it really depends. I mean, depending on what your computer can handle. Mine can do 1080, so I chose the 1080 by 1920. Now, if you're doing it in horizontal, it would be actually 1920 by 1080. So, um, you know, link times width. It's a very, very simple geometry. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is streaming. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that because I have not set up TikTok. Um, but as you can see here, and I am going to make this bigger so you all know exactly what I'm talking about. These are all the options here. And as you can see, you know, they have their nice little, oh, I'm on top of their logo, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not going off camera, but um, anyways, they, they have their logo at the bottom left. Um, you can add multiple output platforms on where you're streaming live. Now, that's if you're streaming. If you're not streaming and you're just recording and you're using it solely for recording, you can create a start and record hotkey, um, stop and uh, recording hotkey. Uh, you can change the video bitrate. I think this was auto for me. I, I could be wrong, but I think it was auto. And I told it where I wanted it to save things. Uh, same thing with streaming. You can set things up on what, what your stream is starting to stop. I probably need to fix that right there. But um, you can have it use your main OBS settings, so that way it's not like killing your GPU. Um, and that's exactly what I do. Uh, so that's a really cool little neat feature, right, is that you can add multiple outputs if you're not paying for a multi-streaming service. Um, some of the streaming services, they strongly push transcoding, which is great if you're wanting things to go live after you've done recorded your content. I, um, I'm not a fan of that. Like, I'll do it in the moment. I, I don't want to do all that. But uh, what I would like to see is that they have the option to do multiple outputs where you can actually customize what you want, where you want it, how you want it. I think that's going to be a really cool thing. But right now, uh, you can certainly do that here if you've unlocked certain thresholds. Um, Instagram, in order to go live, I believe you need to actually have it as a professional account. I don't know about personals yet. I tried on my personal. I clearly have not unlocked it. But if I do it on my um, professional, it lets me do that as a content creator, which I think is really cool. Um, and then what we're going to talk about, because this, this was the part that I was like freaking out on, 
Um, you spend all this time creating all these sources for vertical, right? But then you see this happen when you hit your Stream Deck button, when you're changing your source and you create a separate one and you choose the vertical scene. Well, this is what it does, right? That's the vertical scene and when you tap the Stream Deck button. I can't demonstrate that here because it's currently in recording, so it's staying with what my actual thing is while I have a second instant of OBS running to show you what I'm talking about. Um, so when I did this, I had my vertical scene set up with a separate OBS, and when I did that, it wasn't displaying it here, it was changing it here, and that was frustrating because I was thinking, oh my god, now I have to reconfigure everything all over again, right? Wrong. Very wrong. I didn't know that all I had to do was go back to this one and it had everything filled out the way that I wanted to. When you create a vertical scene, right, and the vertical scenes are right here, when you create a vertical scene, it is going to automatically create a scene in OBS because it's still a scene in OBS. So what we want to do is when we hit one, we want this to change here, not, not here. And when we hit two, as you can see, we've done a second scene. We've set up all of our sources. We've set up a third scene. We have all of our sources here. And we set up our ending scene. And we have all of our sources here. So then, why is it happening here, right? Where it's, when you change it, it it's doing this in Stream Deck. Well, that's because we, we didn't do something that makes it so much easier. This is a vertical scene. This is the main OBS scene. You're actually not wanting to change the main OBS scene because it's gonna change the main one here, not here. So what we do in our vertical scene is we're gonna right click on our mouse and we're gonna go to linked scenes. So when we link it, so this is my starting, this is my live, this is my be right back, this is my ending. So vertical scene one is going to be linked to scene one. And then we would do the same thing for two. We would link it to two. So vertical scene three, we would link that to three. And then vertical scene four, we are gonna link that to four. So when we tap on one, oh, it's not doing it right now because I'm there. Okay, so when we tap on one, it'll change everything for us. When we tap on two, it's gonna change it for us. When we tap on three, same thing. And then when we tap on four, it'll do the same. Now, I love that feature because it means I don't have to go in here and configure each scene every single time. It stays the way that I want it to with the sources the way that I want them to per scene. And I don't have to constantly move things around anymore. Um, so remember, don't freak out if you've accidentally tapped it on regular scenes. Uh, just go back to your main scene and then you can go back and you can go to vertical scene and link it. That way you don't have to change anything. You can just link it and then you're able to use one tap of a button on your stream deck and it'll do that for you. Now for me, I can show you, I'm not gonna change my, my actual thing, but I can show you that if I hit one here, it will change it to one. If I hit two, and what I'm gonna do is bring up my actual stream deck um, software. So as you can see, this is one. And as you can see here, I have, I could choose vertical scene. I could choose, oh, it's going to do it for my outros, not my um, cascade. Uh, if I tap cascade, it's going to change what I'm currently recording to what I'm not doing. But uh, it'll, it'll basically do it per link. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, I have outros in one vertical scene because I didn't customize the starting, uh, be right back and all that stuff when I'm actually doing recorded content. Um, so that's why it's only displaying those two. But essentially, it'll just do the, the first OBS scene and it'll link it. Same thing with all of the others, which I'm really excited about. Um, I thought I was going to be able to show that off. I probably won't be able to. But if I do a screen recording, it'll probably do the same thing. So um, I'll probably have to post screenshots later or something. Anyways, I wanted to make it easier for you all who are using the vertical plugin. Remember, just go to vertical scenes, right click, go to link scenes and link it to whatever scene you need it to. 
That way, as you change the transition between scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, whatever scenes you're doing, they're linked. Anyways, I hope this video has been informative, and I wanted to thank you all for uh, hanging out and staying till the very end. Take care, everybody.